Some progress for South Sudan's lumbering peace process as hundreds of former rebels belonging to the country's unified forces were deployed in a long overdue ceremony on the outskirts of the capital, Juba, on Wednesday. You need to understand this very well, that you don't have any link with politics. You do not have any relation to any party because an army has no party. You are the national army. And as you can see, since 1983, we have not belonged to any party. We are South Sudan's People's Defense Forces, and I warn you from today not to leave the army and get political. The 1st Battalion, comprising nearly 1,000 soldiers, will be deployed to Malakal in northern Upper Nile State, which has received huge numbers of South Sudanese refugees fleeing the conflict in neighboring Sudan. Our country has gone through many problems, and achieving peace is very difficult. For us to take the forces into the training centers is also very difficult, and to bring them together is very hard. The South does not have factories or big companies. Everything is imported and the roads are challenging. The unification of forces loyal to President Xavier Kerr and his rival, Vice President Riek Masha, was a key condition of the 2018 peace deal that ended a five-year conflict in which nearly 400,000 people died.